today I'm going to go over some of the applications that come with the Verizon Hub. Last time we left off on the home menu uh, which presents uh, the time, weather, uh, messaging center, and uh, call features. Let's go to the menu and this is where the applications come up. You've got uh, essentially your communications application which is your phone, contacts, messaging, directories, movies, chaperone which is a service uh, that allows you to uh, know the location of your uh, family's phones, uh, great to keep tabs on kids, uh, vcast which is the Verizon's uh, video service, uh, Verizon Relay, which is a way to display threads of uh, text messages um, that you associate with members of your family or other friends that have Verizon phones. Go to page two, we've got the calendar, a calculator, I can check on traffic, you've got your settings, a widget bazaar, and basically that's their little application store. Uh, where you can actually download small applications that run on the Verizon phone. Uh, feedback, internet radio, you can listen to the internet radio. The recipes is one of those widgets that I was talking about. It um, allows you to uh, view some recipes online. Uh, and then Photo Viewer is another application that I downloaded which turns the Verizon hub into a photo viewer. So let's go back to the first page and uh, let's try a couple of these applications out. Uh, one real interesting application is the movie application. Um, so let's say um, you want to go to a movie theater and find out um, what's playing at that theater. You would press on theater and let's say we pick this uh, Regal Boston. Uh, we can look at show times. Uh, and it uh, basically tells you what movies are playing at that theater. And let's say we wanted to, we're interested in going to Knowing, we press on Knowing, and it gives us the showtime. We're interested in the trailer from that movie. Click on Trailer, and uh, the trailer for that movie appears, which is a really pretty cool. Um, I want each of you to draw me a picture of what you think the future is going to look like. Then so the quality of the image is actually pretty good. Uh, obviously it could always be better. Uh, but it's not bad. And as you can see, the uh, video uh, quality in terms of uh, the motion is excellent. So there's no stuttering whatsoever. Now, I am on Verizon Fios, so I wouldn't expect any stuttering. You decide to stop it. You can go back. You decide um, this is uh, the movie theater you want to go to. You can actually, let's say we want to go to the 4 o'clock uh, showing, and it's checking the availability of tickets and the ticket sales is actually handled through uh, Fandango. Um, so that's a very nice feature. Uh, then let's say you don't know where this theater is. You can view the map. It shows you where the theater is. And one of the great features um, that Verizon has, and it's a, a, a service feature, is this Verizon Navigator. I can actually send um, Verizon Navigator uh, to my cell phone. Let's say, let's just put in movie here. Click enter and send the message. And then uh, once that message is uh, successfully sent, uh, it will actually come out on my um, Omnia, and you just heard uh, by Omnia saying that there was a message received. And here it is, and I can actually view it. And it's downloading the message. And it says, here we go, Regal, Boston, Common. And I can actually uh, map it where it shows me where that location is. And I can route to it. Um, so that's a really cool feature where you actually don't have to fumble with your 
a mobile device uh, to enter addresses that send it directly from the hub. Now you can say I could do this all with my Windows mobile device and that's true but usually when picking a movie you know you need several uh, individuals to make a selection it's nice to have the hub with the larger screen uh, than your mobile device. Um, so let's go back to the menu and uh, another nice feature is the VCast feature and the VCast feature allows you to uh, view uh, different categories of videos so if we're into sports right here and ESPN and Fox Sports are the providers so pick off um, so let's say we want to see this video or SC Tops plays 3 to 28 then we can actually go full screen and the quality you can see with action images uh, there is some pixelation that occurs um, but that's I think the problem with the VCAS system it's not high quality video so we can go back uh, another nice feature is the iHeart uh, radio system and uh, you can have by location, alphabetical, so I've got a favorite which is a WAXQ in New York and uh, you can play that and the quality of that is pretty good. We're listening to Pink Floyd here. So it's a nice radio to have on your desk. And the radio will keep playing until you uh, stop it. So if we want to stop it, we can actually go to here and stop it right here. So then we'll go back to menu. One last thing I wanted to show today uh, was the ability to have a radio widget on the home screen so you can actually go into uh, settings and home screen settings and down here display radio widget you can click OK and now when you go to the home screen uh, you can actually move this around and there's the radio, so you can actually access the radio directly from the home screen. So, that's a nice feature. So you can see that the Verizon Hub uh, has quite a bit uh, of functionality, and it has quite a bit of potential as well. Um, it would have been quite interesting had Verizon chosen uh, the Windows Mobile platform I think they would have gotten uh, a lot more out of the box. But that said, I think there's a, a lot of promise to the Verizon Hub. And there's even talk of adding a browser, uh, which seems to be a big request uh, from the uh, current users out there. I'll be back uh, to take a look at uh, some uh, other features of the Verizon Hub, such as messaging and um, the photo display features uh, on my next video.